games. It's easy. Sustain. Die, Imps. Ugh. 
Ready to die, Ames. Mm, scream for me.
Smell of fresh soil. It's an awfully cold morning. Dreams. Target silent. Head to the next one. Entering combat. Okay? Operation complete. We took their base. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Largo? And Rosie? Thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? 
adventure, all right, and pretty scary, too. But I feel like I got to know you a little bit. And when you said that Squad 7 was like your second family, it made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that, Welkin. Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Welkin. You got called in too, Falio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randbreeze tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah, so much for my plans to go birdwatching tomorrow. I hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go.
Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline. And my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, Your Highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the Foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio? <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Princess Cordelia! I... I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. 
The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The Mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the Mark, I'll be there. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. Wait! Hold it, Varat! Varat! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be. Yes, it was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Barak, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. 